Okay, good morning and welcome to Yom Ben Sion, Yivam Mosdaf Yid Aleph, number 11. We have an interesting uh, thing to talk about today. Again, we're going to be rehashing an old Kakir investigation that I've talked about numerous times. But that's the way Yom says, the same lambda keeps on coming up again and again and again and again. Someone just asked me, my friend David, you must love Yivam Mos. Great. I'm like, not really. I don't like it. Not because it's hard, just... For the lambdas, it's just the same lambdas again. again. So we'll get into that again, because why not? There's nothing else really to talk about. So the Gemara says, <laughs> the says, I need Aleph, and Aleph. And the Gemara says, towards the bottom, I'm going to be Rav, Sora, about 10 lines from the bottom. Sora, Sota, Asura, Tumak, Tzibak, Arayos. The Sora of a Sota, now a Sota we're talking about, the Gemara clarifies, so a Sota Vadai, meaning Adam saw that she committed adultery. She committed adultery. Now, she's a surah. She doesn't have to drink the Maymara. The Maymara, the whole portion of the Torah, she drinks the bitter water. That's only for a saras, a sota, suffix. So the vadai, she's usher to her husband, and she's usher to the adulterer, and she's usher to truma. Let's say that after they find out that she's a sota, she dies. I try the husband dies. She, she didn't die. And the husband was married not just to sota, a woman who committed adultery. She's married to another woman also, sorrow. So, and he has a brother. So the brother, he has a sota falling to him and a sara falling to him. So, Rav Huda teaches, Rav Huda in the name of Rav, teaches sara sota asura, tuma ksibak, right? That's the word that the Gemara explains asura, is that there's tuma, tuma, uh, and it's it's like um, the way the Rishonim, and the, uh, well, even read Rashi. Sara sota asura, hai nasi shte nasi vizin sa'achas, ta'achla, v'yesh edim on meiz blabanam, hivis sara sota pturos afmena chalitza, Rashi says that clearly they're both part of even the Chalitza. And certainly from even my time of Tumma, Ksiv, Babinistra, it calls an adulteress, it calls a Tumma in the Torah. And we know the, the footnotes here explain it says Tumma also in the partial Araya. So Tumma, Ksiv, Araya, just like Erva is Pater, we know from the first Mishnah, there's no Chalitza, no Yibam when a Karis, an Erva, falls to Chalitza, both for her and the Sarah Pater. So also, by a sota also, even the sota is not even a lab. It's only, only an essay. Maybe according to Yosef and Kefar, it's a lab. We'll see. Uh, according to Rabbanan, it's a lab. But I'm a base, but it's definitely not kares. It falls too much, so the tumor potters it from Khalitza I mean, Ayibom. This is problematic because if you're learning like Tosos, I think this is the way Tosos learns the Masechta, the, the whole shot in the first Mishra, Anis Adel Chalosi Shepo Kares. That's the Maskana of the Gemara. Is that there's no zika? It doesn't work. It pops in the place of an agibum. That's only when it comes to a karis, because ain essay dochal is a karis. It's a strong lav. It's a lav olim. It's a strong lav. So the essay can't pop there. There's no zika, no chalitz, no yibum. According to Rashi's explanation, though, the other way I wanted to learn this, the correct way I believe, is that essay ain essay dochal is It's not the shot that. There's no Zika. There is Zika. And the essay is Dokhalos essay. The problem is the Rabban say it's better not to get involved in here because there's Araya. There's, there's, there's Ereba. There's, there's Kuris over here. So don't get involved with it. <clears throat> so I believe that's the Pshat over here. It has to be the Pshat over here because even though it says Tuma, the most it is, according to the Rabban, and Yudal from is a lav. And essay would be Dokhalos essay. Essay is Dokhalos essay. It has to be because. It says tuma. It says a strong word. It says defilement. Tuma. So because of a strong word of tuma written over here, so therefore the Rabbanan said, even though essay dochalosa say, it should be dochalosa say, and there should be, you should even do the mitzvah of yibum, and there's definitely no tour for her and for the sarah, for the soda and the sarah. Still, tuma tziv karayas, the Torah, the chazal felt based on the wording of the Torah that it's considered tuma, and therefore, even though essay is dochalosa say, Chazal said, not so fast. Don't get involved in it. Don't get involved in the Tuma. It's not worth your time. That would be the explanation over here. Hope you enjoyed a short, you know, I've been seeing on short and to the point. See you tomorrow night.